everybody this is Sherry with up or down there beautiful dot blogspot dot com I wanted to show you um, this really cool um, em um, envelope card I found a tutorial on it the other day and I, I had to try it I they're addictive once you start making them they are just so much fun and this one was made with the Martha Stewart uh, Valentine's Day paper that I bought the other day at, I believe it was Michael's or Hobby Lobby. It was in my haul video. And we have a couple that are renewing their vows at church, at our church next uh, week. And so I think I'm going to finish this one up and this will be their card from us. And I'm going to zoom you in here a little so you can see... I used um, I Am Roses and I Am Roses flower here. And then the pink flowers and the fuchsia flower are from LACrafts.com. I used some Stampin' Up! seam binding. Uh, and this is very vanilla. And then I used some Recollections bling here. And I'm not sure if Anna, I believe it was Anna or Trisha that gave me this um, trim. And, you know, I've never been able to work with trim. And I was like, I, I don't buy any. And so I was freaking out because I wanted to make these cards so bad. And I wanted to put trim on them. And God is so good because my friends are so great. They provided exactly what I needed when I needed it. And so I really appreciate them sharing it with me. And, um... This one I don't have the inside finished yet, so I won't open this one for you, but I'll show you the next one that I did, and I'll open it up and show you the card I made to go on the inside, because I haven't quite, I don't know what kind of, what kind of stamp I want to use on the inside for their, you know, for them renewing their vow, so I haven't quite figured that out yet. So when I do, then I'll make the card for the inside. I'm going to move that. And I'm going to show you the other one. And here is the other one. And this is Stampin' Up! paper. Now, I will tell you that I went a little heavy on inking the flowers and should have left some of them just white. Um, I wish I had done that. And I'll zoom you in here. And you can see that I did put some white rosebuds here and there. And here's one and there's one and there's one. But... They're kind of overpowered by the red. I put a couple of the sprays here, and I made a stick pen to go in, and these are Swarovski crystals. And I used lace, guys. I was so proud of myself. I probably should have dropped it down just a little bit further, but I'm not a real fan of this paper, so it kind of helped cover it up. And then again, I put some lace around the edges, and... Um, like I said before, I can't remember if it was Anna or Trisha because I don't have room to like store things separately from the people who give it to me. So I have to kind of put everything together. But this is Stampin' Up! paper. And when you do this, you have to have double-sided paper to make it work. And then you just untie it. And, uh, and here's my little card that I made to go on the inside. And it's got a Stampin' Up! stamp here. It says, um, live simply, love generously, care deeply, speak kindly, leave the rest to God. And then I just um, used a flower stamp to put something on this side. And I used one of my Stampin' Up! punches to make this border. And it just slides in here and closes back up. And you tie it closed at the bottom. And it's super, super, super easy to do. I will show you how to do it. But I'll also put the link below for the lady um, for her tutorial. And um, so let me show you how to do it. Uh, it takes one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. Now, um, your paper does need to be double-sided. And I'm going to use this sheet right here of um, Stampin' Up! paper because I realized I did not have a whole lot of double-sided paper. So, okay, that's as far out as I can go, guys. You fold it in half, 
and um, and it doesn't matter which direction you start by folding it in half and you just press it down and then you use your bone folder to get a nice tight crease then you open it up and you um, push it you know, fold it in half the other way let me get back in camera here it's kind of hard to do this because I have to do it upside down because of the way my camera's set up and then just press it down again and you use your bone folder to get a nice tight crease then you open it back up and you can kind of see here let me see if I can get you in there you can kind of see the lines where they are so you fold this in to the from the point to the center and then you press it back down let me zoom you back out there you press it back down and you make a nice tight crease and we're going to do this on all four corners. Press it, bring it to the center, press it down, and again, take your bone folder and get a nice tight crease. And here comes the third one. And like I said, these things are so addictive, so I was not worried about showing because I knew I wanted to make another one and this is our last corner and we bring it in and again make a nice tight crease now you um flip it over and i'm i'm gonna fold mine the other way because i want my yellow to be on the outside and i think i have to do it the other way let me remember it right the first time sorry guys that's what I couldn't remember you have to the part that you want to show you have to flip in and then you flip over and then you fold it back in half now I flipped it over to the back and again I'm folding it in half again and I'm gonna get um, bring it to meet the edges bring it down here whoops Kind of bent that and then get another nice tight crease okay now here's the part that what you do is you take your back flap and you open it up you take your front front flap and you open it up now I'm not going to do this part with you because what I want to do on this one is I want to um, put a magnet in there the other ones I used um, as you saw, I used uh, ribbon to tie them closed, but this one I want to put a magnet in. So what you do when you get to this point is you just take your adhesive, um, whether it's your ATG or something, and you just ATG this, or put your tape down, and then you open this up, and you press it closed, and then when you open it up, there's your card, right there like that isn't that beautiful and I absolutely love it and the other two I tied and this one I'm gonna put the um, the little magnets in and try to close it that way but I thought these were so great and the lady's name is Christina Betts B-E-T-T-S and again I'll put her link below for you to check out her tutorial as well and these are um, envelope cards and here are mine again and they were just a lot a lot of fun to make I went a little heavy on the red but that's okay because it was my that was my first one I, f I think I got better as I went <laughs> but uh, so I just these are great these are so much fun and you saw how quick and easy no waste I love it thanks for visiting me today guys and happy crafting bye